Welcome to this lesson. We'll revise the passive voice in the present simple tense and the past simple tense. We'll also learn about why the passive voice is used. Winsley travelled to Thailand in 2019. Let's read an extract from his travel blog. In 2019, I experienced the magic of Yipang Festival in Thailand. The sky was illumined with thousands of lanterns. Many colorful lanterns were also hung outside homes and temples. A giant lantern with firecrackers attached to it was released by novice monks. Do you recognize the verbs which are in the passive voice? Yes, they are was illumined, were hung, and was released. So, these verbs are in the passive voice. Are these verbs in the present simple tense or? in the past simple tense. Indeed, they are all in the past simple tense. How do we know? We have was and were before the main verb and was and were are in the past simple tense. Let's continue reading Winsley's travel blog. The festival is celebrated to mark the end of the rainy season. Lanterns are lit to pay respect to Buddha. Do you recognize the verbs in the passive voice this time? Right, they are is celebrated and are lit. These verbs are in the passive voice. Are these verbs in the present simple tense or in the past simple tense? Yes, they are in the present simple tense. How do we know? Yes, there are the verbs is and are before the main verb. And these verbs are in the present simple tense. Let's go back to these verbs in the passive form. As we saw earlier, we have was or were and is or are. What else do we note? In each of these verbs, the main verb is in the past participle form. Illumined, hung, released, celebrated and lit are all in the past participle. So, how is the passive voice formed? The passive voice in the present simple tense is formed by using the present simple tense of the verb to be, that is, am, is, or are, followed by the main verb in the past participle form. As for the passive voice in the past simple tense, it is formed by using the past simple tense of the verb to be that is, was, or were, followed by the main verb in the past participle form. 
Now, why do you think Winsley uses the passive voice? Let's study this example. The festival is celebrated to mark the end of the rainy season. What could be the reasons why Winsley uses the passive voice here? Well, Winsley wants to focus on the festival. That's why he writes the festival at the very start of the sentence. Hence, the writer chooses to use the passive voice as it helps him to emphasize the festival, which he has placed at the start of the sentence. In addition, most people in Thailand celebrate this festival, so it is not important for him to mention who it is exactly that celebrates it. In the active voice, the sentence would have read, People celebrate the festival to mark the end of the rainy season. In the active voice, the emphasis would have been on people. Since Winsley did not want to emphasize on the people, he did not use the active voice. Let's study another example from Winsley's travel blog. A giant lantern with firecrackers attached to it was released by novice monks. What is the focus in this sentence? The lantern or the novice monks? Yes, the focus is a giant lantern with firecrackers placed at the start of the sentence for emphasis and not the novice monks. Do we know who performed the action of releasing the giant lantern? Yes, the action of releasing was performed by novice monks. Note that the preposition by is used before the novice monks specifying the ones who did the action of releasing. In the active voice, the sentence would have read Novice monks released a giant lantern with firecrackers attached to it. In the active voice, the emphasis would have been on novice monks and not on the giant lantern. So, remember, in the passive voice, when we want to show by whom the action is or was performed, we add the preposition by. Then, we specify the person or the thing performing the action. Let's practice using the correct verb. The Full Moon Lantern Festival in Hoi An, Vietnam, on the 14th day of the lunar calendar every month. What is the missing verb? Held, is held, or was held. Correct! It is B, is held. Is the present simple tense form of the verb to be is used because the full moon lantern festival happens every month on the 14th day of the lunar calendar. Ready for another one? In 2020, the lantern floating Hawaii ceremony via live stream because of COVID-19 restrictions. What verb would you choose? Practiced? Is practiced? Was practiced? Very good! 
It is C. Was practiced. The ceremony happened in 2020. That is in the past. That is why. Was the past tense of the verb to be is used. Let's do a last one together. All the neighbors for a feast by the retired school headmaster when his first grandchild was born. Is the missing verb invited, are invited, or were invited? Right, the answer is C, were invited. Were, the past simple tense of the verb to be, is used because the event happened in the past, that is, when the grandchild was born. If you want further practice on the passive voice of the present and past simple tenses, you can go back to your grade 9 textbook and complete activity 4a on page 44. Please note that you can watch this video over again on the SSP website. So remember, to form the passive voice in the past simple tense, use, was, or were, and the past participle of the main verb. In the passive voice, present simple tense, use, am, is, or are, and the past participle of the main verb. We have also learned that we use the passive voice as it helps us to place emphasis on what is at the start of a sentence. In the passive voice, we may specify the one performing the action by preceding it with by. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.